welcome to my kitchen. I'm Steve, and in this episode of Cooking with Love, I'm gonna be making a spinach frittata. A frittata is a Italian version of a, of a quiche. It's very similar. Um, you can use any combination of vegetables in it or and cheeses. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be using onion and spinach. I'm gonna be using a fontina cheese and Parmesan cheese. Uh, the common ingredient for making a frittata is that it has to have eggs. Uh, it's also cooked slowly on top of the stove and then it's finished in the oven. So you're gonna need a, a frying pan that does not have a plastic handle, that has something that could withstand the heat of a broiler. All right, let's get started. The ingredients we need to make our frittata are spinach. I like to use baby spinach. Uh, however, you can use regular spinach and just make sure it's cut up well. Some uh, chopped onion, eggs of course, uh, some cheese, and today I'm using parm grated Parmesan cheese and uh, some Fontina cheese that I grated. You can use, again, as I said earlier, you can use any kind of cheeses that you like. Um, if you don't like Fontina cheese, use mozzarella. If, if you want to, you can go with the cheddar cheese. Uh, and likewise, you can use any vegetables you like. Uh, this works really well with mushrooms or peppers, uh, asparagus, and you could also include meats in it if you, if you like uh, a salami or pepperoni or ham. Um, it's really what your, um, what your creativity will uh, allow. Uh, the other things that we need is some uh, minced garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper to taste, and some whole milk. And uh, we're gonna need olive oil for the frying pan. Uh, the first step now is that we're going to take our eggs and uh, we're going to uh, beat them well. I've cracked all the eggs into a large uh, mixing bowl. I'm gonna use a whisk and make sure these eggs are beaten well. I'm gonna add the milk. I'm gonna add salt and pepper. And then the grated Parmesan cheese. Our uh, pan is on medium heat. I'm gonna add olive oil. I'm gonna make sure the bottom is coated. Our oil is warmed up. We're going to uh, fry up our onions. And we'll just cook them until they're translucent. Next we're going to add the garlic. We're going to cook this for about two minutes. Now we're going to add the spinach and we're going to allow the spinach to wilt inside the pan. You do have the option, if you don't want to use fresh spinach, you could use a frozen spinach. Just make sure that the frozen spinach is uh, wrung out really well. Uh, you want to get as much moisture out of it as you can. I'm just going to cover this now and let that, um, that much wilt down. And then we'll finish cooking the rest. been about two minutes and you can see that the spinach is wilting nicely. We're going to add the rest of our spinach. And we'll cook this down as well. We have, the heat is down to a low setting now. This has been cooking for another two minutes or so. The spinach is all wilted. Our onions are cooked. 
We're going to add the egg mixture now. I'm just going to give this another stir and just pour it right on top. And I'm going to use a spatula and just make sure that the egg mixture is getting to the bottom of the pan. I have the heat on the lowest setting. We want to cook this slowly. And I'm going to place the cover back on. We've been cooking for a few minutes. You can see that the uh, edges are starting to set up. I'm going to add our Fontina cheese now and just sprinkle that all over the top. I'm going to just give it a little bit of a mix to get it inside the, uh, the egg that's still soft. All right, cover it again. Let it go for probably another five minutes. It's been five or six minutes. All right, and you can see that the uh, frittata, the edges of it are cooked really well. The center of it is uh, still a little bit soft. This is where we finish it off under the broiler. So I'm gonna put this under the broiler for uh, two to three minutes, let it brown nicely and uh, then it'll be finished. Our frittata has been under the broiler for about three minutes. Looks like it's done really well. Uh, make sure you use a pot holder when you're touching the handle. When it comes out of the broiler, that handle is going to be very hot. I like to finish this with a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan. Now we just need to let it cool for five or ten minutes so we can take it out of the pan and put it onto a plate. I've let the uh, frittata cool for about ten minutes or so. You want to loosen up the, all the sides well and get your spatula underneath it to free it up. The hardest part about making the frittata is getting it out of the pan intact. All right, now for the taste test. I'm ready to try some of this frittata. I'm uh, gonna have it with some uh, homemade Italian bread that I made earlier this morning and uh, there'll be a link to the uh, recipe for the Italian bread. Very good. It's cheesy. The spinach is delicious. You can taste the, uh, the garlic in it. Definitely very quick and easy dish to make. Um, it's something that your family will really enjoy. And again, you can, there's infinite number of combinations of vegetables and cheeses and, and meats that you can put into the frittata. Uh, I think this is gonna be something that um, you'll make frequently. We'll see you on the next episode.